In this video, we're going to learn how to use the ternary operator as an L value in C++, so that for example, we can actually assign to the result of the ternary operator. First, I'm going to go over a more typical use case of the ternary operator, and then I'll go over using it as an L value. So for example, let's say we want to accept some input from the user and assign to a variable differently based on that input. First, we'll make the input variable. We'll say int input. Then we'll ask the user for some input. So we'll say C out and then input colon. And we'll use C in to store the enter into the input variable. Next, we're going to use the ternary operator to determine what to assign to a variable based on that input. So we'll say int x is equal to, and we'll say input equals equals to question mark 100 colon 200. So this here is the ternary operator. And it's a little bit like a tiny if else in the sense that we have a condition here that we're checking. And if the input is equal to two, then the result of this expression is going to be 100. Otherwise, if the input doesn't equal two, the expression is gonna result in a value 200. So what we can do is output X and see the effect that different inputs are gonna have. So we'll say C out, x colon, and we'll output x, followed by an end line, and we'll save this and run it. And if I enter an input of 2, x is going to be set to 100. If I enter an input of 10, x is going to be set to 200. So that's a simple example of using the ternary operator. So typically speaking, we see the ternary operator used to produce some value either as part of a larger expression or to assign to a variable like we are here. But in C++, unlike C, it's actually possible to use the ternary operator as an L value, which means we can actually assign to the result of the ternary operator, among other things. Let's go over an example of that, using the ternary operator as an L value now. Let's make a loop, and we're going to keep track of three things the current grade that was entered, the number of passing grades, and the number of failing grades. So we'll say int grade is equal to zero. That's gonna be the current grade that was entered. Int pass total is equal to zero. Pass total is gonna keep track of the number of passing grades. Int fail total is equal to zero. And fail total is gonna keep track of the number of failing grades. Then we're gonna make an infinite while loop. We'll say while true, keep asking for more grades. So we'll say C out, enter grade, negative one to quit. And we'll prompt the user to enter a grade. And we'll store what they enter into the grade variable as the current grade. Now, if they enter in negative one, then we're gonna break and we'll be done. So if the grade is greater than or equal to 50, then we're gonna increment pass total by one because we have another passing grade. Otherwise, we're going to increment fail total by one because we have another failing grade. And then each time in the loop, we'll output the current pass total and fail total. So we'll say C out, pass total, colon. We'll output the pass total followed by an inline. And then we'll do the same thing with the fail total. So we'll say fail total, colon. Output the fail total followed by an inline. So it's a simple program here to keep track of the number of passes and number of fails. But let's run it and give it a test. So here we'll say 60. And we now have a pass total of one and fail total of zero. If I say 45, now we have a pass total of one, fail total of one. If I say 33, fail total of two. What we could do is replace this if else with a ternary operator. And that's gonna look like this. We'll say grade greater than or equal to 50 question mark, pass total, colon, fail total, plus equals one. Now this looks kind of weird because we have this expression here where we typically have a variable when we're using this plus equals assignment operator here. And what's happening here is that the ternary operator is resulting in an L value, the variable pass total or fail total that we're actually assigning to with this assignment statement here. 
instead of the current pass total value or the current fail total value. So we're actually going to result in pass total and increment it by one or result in fail total and increment it by one. So that's what's going on here. It's just kind of a neat feature of C++ that we can actually do this. So let's save it and run it and we'll give it a try. So if I put in 90, pass total is incremented by one. If I put in 85, pass total again is incremented by one. If I put in 24, now fail total is incremented by one. And if I put in 12, again, fail total is incremented by one. So that's how we can use the ternary operator as an L value in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.